plan, there's no chance we won't gorilla plan, we won't gorilla plan. What's up guys? So I'm out here in uh, midsummer in South Florida and I'm gonna plant a fruit tree. My girlfriend was like, what? why are you planting a fruit tree? It's hurricane season. I'm like, because it's another day and I plant fruit trees every single day. I've uh, planted a lot um, and I've found a good techniques to do it where they thrive on neglect. Oh, there we are. So if I have such a good supply of mulch and I'm just in mountains of mulch and they're hitting me up every day with new hardwood oak mulch, live oak, and I have local compost I get delivered here. Um, and I have a lot of fruit trees on hand that are just sitting in pots, this little potentials that's not even in the ground fruiting. They need to go in the ground. Um, and I'm gonna um, try to plant as many as I can right now. Uh, gorilla planting them in the city. Um, some people ask if there's permission to do this. I don't know, I think it's a very human activity to plant fruit trees. I'm just honestly, the, I guess the goal is to inspire, to do more. Um, I am really passionate about this. I think it's a really positive thing. So I'm putting my time and energy and resources and um, specialized knowledge. Um, uh, I wanna put it towards that um, because I'm really passionate about growing food at home and just localized. It doesn't have to necessarily be at home. It should be you know, integrated with parks and um, all, all throughout um, our, uh, where we live. It's like 100,000 degrees outside, which is crazy. And I'm gonna still go outside and plant a fruit tree. I'm um, very sweaty and I'm... <laughs> so I'm really excited about this mango. One, it's uh, a mango tree. And two, uh, they do so well, you don't even have to water them. My buddy Matt on the other coast has a mango farm. He hasn't watered his mango trees once. And they're pumping out mangoes in like four years or something. He's only been on that site. So super impressive mango trees. I think they are uh, encroaching on citrus world. So watch out, coconut cream. Hey, how's everyone doing back there? Really good. Okay, Mango, we're gonna find you a home soon, okay? So I'm here in Palm Beach Gardens, checking on these trees that I gorilla planted um, eight months ago. And uh, the good news is they're still kicking. No irrigation, nothing. I planted these in January, um, just behind some shopping plaza here in town. So right behind me is a, uh, a shopping plaza where there's shoppers and uh, people of the gen pop. So I, uh, Decided I'm gonna plant a fruit tree for them right here behind the shops they shop at. We got a mango tree. It's gonna go right here. I forgot my shovel at the job site. So I'm gonna have to bear this one. Let's see how it goes. So the trees are in the ground, the birds are stoked. Or I'm just in their territory, but either way, the tree's in the ground. Mango, dude. There's a mango found its home. This is very exciting, guys. So uh, I'm gonna compost, mulch, top dress it with those goodies, and uh, feed the tree, keep the moisture in, and uh, another mango tree in the ground. Plant daily. So I guess the purpose of the whole campaign in the first place, Plant Daily 2020, is, is to let people know if you want abundance, you have to plant it's like a metaphor for life so I really and that's kind of what I teach in my classes that planting leads to abundance so if you plant every single day you're just way ahead of the game once the abundance starts rolling in